When people think Apache, they picture a helicopter built to hunt tanks with heavyweight missiles and a 30mm cannon that can chew through light armor. But modern battlefields punish that kind of binary thinking. Not every target is worth a high-end guided missile, and not every situation allows you to solve a problem with a cannon run that demands time, altitude, and exposure. That is why a seemingly modest line in a Ministry of Defense response matters more than it looks at first glance. The UK plans to integrate the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, or APKWS, onto its AH-64E Apaches by 2027. On paper, this is simply an addition to the weapons mix. In practice, it is a quiet admission that the UK wants a more scalable kill chain, one that lets commanders dial up or dial down effect, cost, and collateral risk without losing precision. Defense Minister Luke Pollard's phrasing is telling. APKWS was assessed as part of a suite of systems for the Apache's loadout, with the explicit goal of giving commanders greater flexibility across different target sets and the ability to engage with a measured effect. That is the language of a force adapting to a world where the most common threats are not always the most glamorous ones. The question is not whether the Apache can destroy a target. The question is, should it destroy it with a weapon that costs as much as a small house when the target might be a pickup truck, a small boat, a firing position, or a fleeting opportunity that needs a precise but not excessive response? APKWS is built around a deceptively simple idea. Take the widely used 70mm Hydra 70 rocket, traditionally an unguided area weapon, and insert a mid-body guidance section that turns it into a laser-guided munition. The rocket homes in on a target illuminated by a laser designator, using a semi-active seeker designed to find that reflected laser energy and steer the rocket with much better accuracy than a dumb rocket could ever achieve. It is essentially a way to buy precision without buying a full-sized missile, and because it leverages existing rocket motors, warheads, and launchers, it is designed to integrate with relatively limited changes compared to fielding an entirely new missile family. So why does this matter specifically for Britain's AH-64E fleet and why now? Start with the basic arithmetic of combat persistence. Missiles are extraordinary tools, but they are also finite and expensive. And on long deployments, what you carry on day one determines what you can still do on day five. An Apache with only high-end missiles risks becoming a boutique asset, devastating in a narrow slice of scenarios, but economically and logistically strained when the mission shifts to repetitive strikes against dispersed light targets. APKWS changes that equation by increasing magazine depth. A guided rocket gives you more shots per sortie that are still precise, still standoff capable, but more suitable for targets where a heavyweight missile would be overkill. And in an era where adversaries deliberately flood the battle space with cheap systems, small drones, decoys, improvised vehicles, fast boats, being forced to respond with premium munitions is not a sign of strength. It is a vulnerability. That measured effect phrase also signals something else. Rules of engagement and collateral risk are not side issues anymore. They are central. Precision is not only about hitting the target, but about controlling what happens after impact. Large missiles deliver large effects, and sometimes that is exactly what you want, but there are missions, urban environments, proximity to civilians, sensitive infrastructure, or allied forces operating close, where commanders need a middle option. An Apache already has two extremes, the cannon for close, continuous engagement, and guided missiles for high-end standoff strikes. APKWS fills the gap. It offers a way to hit point targets accurately at several kilometers without the destructiveness and the political baggage that can come with heavier warheads. There is also a distinctly modern problem that this addresses, target density. The battlefield is not short of targets, it is short of time and survivability. Apaches are valuable and enemies know it. Air defenses, electronic warfare and long-range fires compress the safe operating space for rotary wing aircraft. The more quickly an Apache can find, designate, and engage targets from a safer distance, the less time it spends exposed. Laser-guided rockets used intelligently can support that tempo. They allow rapid engagements against multiple light targets without the aircraft having to set up repeated close-range cannon passes that increase exposure. And because the guidance relies on a laser spot, it can integrate into a broader network where the designator might be the Apache itself, another aircraft, or potentially a ground team, turning the weapon into a cooperative tool rather than a single platform trick. Now look at the timeline. Integration plan for 2027. That date is not random. Weapon integration is not just bolting on hardware. It is software, testing, safety certification, cockpit symbology, fire control logic, and the messy realities of proving that the weapon behaves correctly across a full envelope of speeds, altitudes, angles, and operational conditions. The Apache is a mature platform, but every new munition must be validated as part of the aircraft's overall system. 
the UK's confirmation that procurement activity is ongoing suggests the decision is moving from conceptually interesting to programmatically real, but it is also careful. No final procurement decisions have been made for other platforms, and wider adoption remains under review. That cautious phrasing hints at budget trade-offs, competing priorities, and the classic defense dilemma, once you prove a weapon works well on one platform, everyone wants it everywhere, and suddenly a small integration becomes a major procurement wave. And there is a broader strategic angle here, interoperability and supply resilience. APKWS is widely fielded and produced by BAE Systems, and it is designated by the U.S. Department of Defense as the program of record for laser-guided 70mm rockets. For a UK force that routinely operates alongside the US and other NATO partners, that matters. Common munitions simplify coalition logistics, training, and wartime resupply. If you are planning for high-intensity conflict, you plan for friction, delays, bottlenecks, and the brutal reality that perfect supply chains do not exist under fire. Choosing a munition with established production and broad user adoption can be as important as the munition's performance on a test range. But here is the key question. Is APKWS primarily about cost or about flexibility? The honest answer is both, and the interaction between them is what changes the operational calculus. Cost matters because it determines how you train, how you stockpile, and how you sustain operations at scale. Flexibility matters because wars do not present targets in neat categories that match your procurement brochures. Commanders need options that fit the moment, not just the ideal scenario. APKWS gives the Apache a precision tool that sits below high-end guided missiles in destructive power and cost, while retaining the ability to strike accurately at meaningful distances. It is not a replacement for heavy missiles, it is a complement that makes the entire loadout smarter. So when you hear British Apaches to be fitted with APKWS, do not file it away as a minor technical upgrade, read it as a doctrinal signal. The UK is shaping its attack helicopter force for a battlefield dominated by light, fast, and numerous threats, where the ability to respond proportionally is as valuable as raw firepower. The Apache remains a predator, but predators also conserve energy, pick the right tool for the right prey, and avoid unnecessary risk. By 2027, if this integration proceeds as planned, Britain's AH-64Es will not just hit hard, they will hit more often with better discrimination, and with a weapon that fits the messy reality of modern war. And in today's strategic environment, that kind of practical lethality may be the most important upgrade of all.